Hey there, congratulations. When you do finally appear on TV for the first time, here are 19 tips for this new media coverage. I will discuss what to wear, how to approach the anchors, and what to do when your TV segment is complete. My goal as an entrepreneur this year was to get media coverage so that I could share my travel tips with the world and push people to my YouTube channel. You now have a media segment and I am very proud of you because I know it takes a lot of work building relationships and researching the news station. So here are 19 tips to get you through your first media coverage experience. When you are on TV for the first time, know that it will most likely be a live segment, either during their morning talk show or their afternoon talk show. Yes, you will be nervous, but that is to be expected and you're going to get through it with flying colors. Yes, you will make mistakes, but you're going to get through it. When you are on TV for the first time, have the mindset of helping people. You are not selling. You are proud of this content promotion and you need to share it or broadcast it across your state and maybe throughout the world. After several emails confirming that I was going to be going on the news station and this is what I was going to be talking about, I did add an email in writing saying that I wanted my YouTube channel name, Travel Tips by Laurie, mentioned or written across the screen while I was talking. And they did have no problem with that. They didn't even mention it, but they did let me say the name of my YouTube channel. But that is a caveat that you can add on after you've confirmed everything. I was very nervous when I appeared on TV for the first time, but as soon as I walked in the news station, I realized that it was not a glamorous job. There's no audience there. There aren't a lot of cameramen or makeup people. It is just you and the anchors. And so that helped me remain more down to earth or not as nervous. When you are appearing on TV, know that they really do see you as the expert. I wish that I had gone in there with more of an expert mentality, like, okay, this is what I want to show and this is how I would like to do it. She asked me if I had travel hack objects that I could show and I said, yes, I do. I have some that I can bring. I can lay them on a table in a row, kind of like GMA does it. Um, or I can pull it out of a suitcase like Mary Poppins style. And she suggested Mary Poppins style, but I wish I would have gone a step further and even more explained or asked questions of what she would like me to do or what would be easiest for the cameraman. That's a good question. Like what would make it easier for the cameraman or the anchors? Do not act all starry eyed when you see your favorite anchor woman. They are just normal people. They are just showing up to do their job. It's not a glamorous job at the station. They aren't thinking about all the people who know your dream from childhood of being on TV. They are just trusting you as the expert and being professional and they're gonna get you through it with small talk or smiles. They're going to help you. When I did get the first email asking me to be on their morning talk show, I immediately researched the set. Every part of every other person who talks on the news that morning, I wanted to see what type of background I could have or what kind of sofa I was going to be sitting on. And it is a mustard yellow sofa. Oh, so I knew the opposite would be a purpley royal blue color. That just is something that might help you. I also recommend researching the commercials that you're going to be seeing, and that will give you their target audience, like retired people or people who are planning a vacation, they're watching the news right now, or they have it in the background and might watch a commercial, so pay attention to those commercials. Another tip for your first time on TV is to know that you probably will not get a lot of instruction before you arrive at the news station that day. You may get emails to book your time from a booker or a bookie. Uh, that may not be the producer who you're going to talk to on set that morning. When I got there, I had to wait like 30 minutes. No one spoke to me when I was in the waiting area on like in the newsroom. It's this big dark room with just the anchors and a couple of cameras and then a set for guests to sit on. They trusted me to show up knowing what I was going to talk about and that is what we were going to talk about. There was no 
major list of things to say. Also know that the anchor people are in the dark as well. They only know what your email said you were going to talk about. So they want you to tell them everything you need to tell them and you're proud of it. You've worked hard with this information and making it appealing to your audience and you know that it's worth it for people to listen to it. So stand up tall and just go with it. For your first time on television, I suggest having some kind of prop that you can hold on to or um, have on a coffee table maybe, or a table or a hold on your hand. That way you know subliminally that the camera will be focusing on that object and not your shaking face or shaking knees. And get that manicure done. I used OPI's color Tickle My Francy because I knew that neutral would go with pinks or with red. So treat yourself to a manicure or do it yourself and be prepared in that way. I did not get directions or what to do when I got to the news station until the night before I was supposed to appear the next morning on TV. So be prepared. They're going to give you everything you need to know just to get there uh, the night before. And they did say that I would have to bring my driver's license. Now my mom and I, I'm so glad I got to do it with her. We went shopping and I picked out a royal blue dress. It is sleeveless. A lot of people in my research say that you should not wear sleeveless dresses, but I just went with it because the color is so great against a mustard sofa. It is an A-line dress. Know that you will not be able to see the full body. Like they're not going to do a full body shot of how cute of an outfit that you wore to your news appearance. Uh, but pick a great color, a solid color. I went to Ann Taylor. I will link this below by the way. I went to Ann Taylor and the lady who was helping me there had been on TV several times with fashion stuff and she said, Every time I brought out any type of little floral or any kind of pattern, she said, nope. I mean, she didn't care if she hurt my feelings. No pattern whatsoever. Also look at what the anchor women are wearing and you can kind of go with their style. My YouTube channel is called Travel Tips by Laurie and I wanted to be seen as an expert the very first time I was on television. So I went toward all these business looking dress like shell dresses or sheath dresses, A-line dresses, because my stomach is my worry spot. I don't want to have to worry about what I'm sitting like or anything like that. So I wanted to be professional but comfortable. I also knew that when I was sitting on a sofa, if that's where they were going to put me, I needed to see, I didn't want to worry about having to keep my legs super tight together. So I made sure the dress went right below my knee because when you sit, your dress or your skirt is going to come up four inches at least. But we had picked out all these professional looking dresses and my mom bless her wisdom heart. She said, you know, Laurie, you want to show a little bit of your personality too. So I'm not going to wear something like this on my very first time being on the news. I probably won't ever wear it because I don't know, it just is not professional and I don't want to worry about it flipping over or anything like that, even though it's not, it's great. It's old. I can't link it. <laughs> but anyway, I found this at Dillard's. I will link it below. It's Tahari. It is a vibrant green v-neck pantsuit. Oh my gosh, it is so cute and so fun and it's different. I wish they would have done a full length, like full body segment, but they didn't. So they hid me behind a table. I was standing there behind a table. So you just never know where you're going to be. I had neutral shoes that would go with either outfit and I made sure that they were not super high heels because I just didn't know if I was going to have to be standing there. My legs are shaking so bad. I wanted to be in a conservative type heel because that's safer to me. So be safe, be dressed like an expert, like be safe by not doing high heels or a super duper pattern, but um, be fun in showing your personality or the brand of your top or your company. There was a lady who was going on right after me and she was pregnant and she had been on before, but she showed up with a blouse that was totally buttoned down and they were pulling right here, three buttons pulling while she was sitting there waiting. And I told her, your buttons are gaping open. You know, like if you have any bigness right here, keep it flat, like have no buttons. You want to be easy. You don't have to be worried about that. You don't want people to be embarrassed for you while you're on TV. 
Oh, and I did not have a place to curl my hair. So come to the station with your hair curled. They do not have anyone to put on your makeup for you. So apply it in the parking lot or at the nearest coffee shop like I did. <laughs> for my first time on television, there was no cameraman anywhere that I could see. It was a remote cameraman. And the whole time you need to look at the anchors that you're talking to. Don't even try to look at the camera. Look at the anchors. He will find a way to get to your face or like I said before, the objects that you have brought to draw attention away from your nervous face or your shaking lips. I had them. I had a, a smile and it was, he focused on my face and it was going, oh, it was so obvious and you will eat it apart with mistakes, but no one else will know. Just get through this first time and really show your personality. When I get stressed, I go completely calm. And they said, okay, we're gonna give you tips to save you time, space, and money. And I said, yes, we will. And I looked down at my object. I mean, I just dropped the excitement that they were trying to bring for my travel tips that I was sharing. And also they, their little segue that said, we're gonna save you time, space, and money. I had no idea they were gonna say that. I wish I would have asked, what is the segue statement going to be? Because I could have really geared that like, and this hack is going to save you time. And this hack is really gonna save you money because you only have to do this. But so I know to ask that the next time. When your segment is done, you are going to be so excited. Have them take a picture for your social media and then thank them. Thank them for their time and the opportunity. And then two days later, if you wait that long, email your contact person and thank them again, as well as giving her two potential dates for you to return and share these hacks or this type of content and then say, like I did, I said, and next time I know a couple of ways to make it easier for the anchor people and the cameraman and then leave your information. Anyway, congratulations. It's going to be awful for you, but wonderful. You're going to learn so much. Let me know what you wear and how you got through it. Thanks for visiting.